Example problem 1.3-1. The problem states, the red hanger rod will be designed to support a load of 3 kilonewtons. The failure stress of the rod material is 250 megapascals. Design the diameter of the rod to the nearest millimeter, assuming a factor of safety of 2.5. I will begin by first finding the allowable stress for the rod. Allowable stress is found by taking the failure stress which in our case is 250 megapascals, and dividing it by the factor of safety, which was given to us 2.5. This results in allowable stress of 100 megapascals. Next, I've taken our equation for allowable normal stress, which is equal to P over A, the internal normal force divided by the cross-sectional area. I've rewritten it to solve for area given internal normal force P and sigma. I'm going to call that equation 1. Next, I've written the equation for the cross-sectional area of a circle. It's equal to pi over 4 times the diameter squared. I'm going to call that equation 2. Now I'm going to substitute equation 2 into equation 1 and solve for the diameter. Now I'm going to let P equal the internal load in the rod, which is 3 kilonewtons, and sigma I'm going to let equal our sigma allowable and then I will solve for the diameter of the rod. Notice I've converted 3 kilonewtons to 3,000 newtons, and I've converted 100 megapascals for sigma allowable to 100 times 10 to the 6 newtons per meter squared. The answer comes out to be 6.18 times 10 to the negative third meters. We were asked to find the rod diameter to the nearest millimeter. This is equivalent to 6.18 millimeters. Now because we were asked to find the rod size to the nearest millimeter, we'll use a 7 millimeter diameter rod. If we chose a 6 millimeter diameter rod, the cross-sectional area would be too small and we would exceed our allowable stress. So we will use a 7 millimeter diameter rod and our problem is complete.